Hey everyone, if you happen to be in the Denver area, you must stop by the Yeti headquarters, which is right here in Golden. And if you do that, might as well just go for a demo ride. Today, I'm gonna be riding Apex Park or Apex Trails right here in their backyard. And I've rented an SB130. You guys know that I'm riding an SB100. So I'm gonna take this for a spin and then see how it feels given all the different changes from the 100 to the 130. So the guy in front is riding a SB100. He loves it. I lock my rear on this. Only climbing here, first part of the trail. One thing is for sure, the views from out here. A 10 out of 10, man. Look at that. And I guess this bike's climbing is probably close to a 10 out of 10. Hard to tell the difference between 130 and 100, both locked up. I'm trying to pace myself because the altitude is getting to my head already. That's my excuse today. Woo. The only time when I can tell that this bike has a slacker head anger than my SB 100 is when I'm turning, the front wheel tends to flop or feels like flopping on the inside of the turn more so than on the SB100 or I can't really say that but here when I'm trying to straighten the handlebar where I feel a little bit of resistance aside from that it feels really good the climbing gets a bit more technical steeper more rocks not a problem for this bike Ooh. now this part here really got me not the switchback but over there which is really really narrow since I got off the bike might as well push it up a couple of feet because look at this it's getting uh, interesting definitely easier to lift that front wheel while climbing even though it's not wandering around that would be a bit different from my SB100 so after all this climbing what can I say about the bike well this is the type of terrain where you could use an aggressor as a rear tire and DHF I don't know if that made a difference but good traction from that rear fully utilized the Eagle, the 50 tooth, I use that quite a bit. The front here is a 30, which I needed this as well. This climbs really well. The C tube angle, this is a 77 degree. The uh, SB100 is 74, so this is brought forward about three degrees. At the same time, the head tube is slackened by more than two degrees, but you know what? When climbing, the position on the bike is actually really good because of the saddle the saddle is brought forward towards the bars now the bars are slightly wider at 780 as well so that brings me a bit forward but uh you know what from a climbing standpoint i did flip the switch here onto i guess that was uh closed all the way or trail uh i'm gonna switch it to open and see how this sb100 130 see they changed the graphics now they are printed here on the top tube it used to be printed here on the uh, seat stay let's see how this uh, likes it going down it looks like i might be going down finally after all this climb but uh, beautiful views from up here i just talked to this sky also riding a and 130 from the Eddy. He's liking it too. I bet. All these rocks. Were beach. Oh, I'd much rather prefer to come down on these rocks. Tell you that. Can't 
really make mistakes here. Well, I had to come up. I'd much rather prefer to come down on that. All right. Woo! Well, I didn't forget to turn. I just couldn't. <laughs> oh, man. I remember stopping here on the way up saying, how am I going to climb this? It's a lot better coming down. Dropping in. Whew. All right. Talk about the rocks. Holy smoke. Okay, so sections like that is where you need the 130. Alright, one thing that I guess I can say after all this downhill is man, these round brakes. I just feel underpowered. These are G2s. Oh. I kept squeezing on the lever. Gave me a little bit of arm pump too. Washrooms, tools, water refill station there. Very well maintained trails over here. So what do I think about the SB130 after this? First of all, I was right at home with this SB130 after riding my SB100 for the last year or so. The one thing that I mentioned while riding that I couldn't get used to is uh, the G2 RSC uh, brakes that are here on this T2 trim. You can see the X01 shifter over there, Eagle, and um, the race face. This is just the remote for the uh, Fox dropper. This is the performance, not the Kashima coating. Fox is a 36, very capable. I've used, what, about 100 mil out of it. Very plush. If anything, maybe it had a little bit less air pressure that I would have liked. Felt a tiny bit divey for me here and there. The bike comes with the DT Swiss M1700 by default, and these are 30 millimeter um, internal. Front tire is 2.5 29er, a mini on DHF, and the rear is the aggressor. The trails that I usually ride, I couldn't use this combo, but for here, they were really good. Uh, the rear suspension is the Float DPX2. This one was very capable as well. Look like looks like I used most of its travel, if not all of it. I did flip the switch into either trail or pedal or locked mode. Uh, when climbing the 300 meters of climbing that I've done today. But aside from that, really uh, nice and plush coming down. Aside from the SB100, all the other bikes that Yeti makes have the Switch Infinity uh, alongside the frame. You can see the full Eagle uh, drivetrain. Again, this is a 30 tooth uh, chain ring and X01 derailleur. Same with the cassette. Wheels are completed with DT uh, hubs. Uh, not sure if these are ratchets, they should be. Boost spacing front and rear on this bike, so 110 up front, 148 in the back. You can see the four piston calipers from SRAM. These are the G2 version. You have 180 center line uh, rotors front and rear. But again, it kind of felt underpowered for me compared to the Shimano's that I use on pretty much all my bikes. Worth mentioning here is that you don't have the ability to run a 160 rotor on the back of this bike. So you're st stuck with 180 front and rear or 200 and 180. And down here you can see the down tube protection that uh, SB100 has as well. 150 travel up front, 130 in the rear. And despite the geometry changes from the SB100, my position on the bike was appropriate for all those climbs that you guys could see. 
So all in all, an awesome, awesome uh, experience. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. If you liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep an eye on social media. Thanks for sticking with me this far. Hope you guys had at least a little bit of fun. I know I had a lot of fun. And until next time, I will see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.